Hi you guys, this is Tiffany again and it is Monday. I just went and finished my workforce center. I have to do that every Monday and Thursday because I'm trying to find a job. Whew, I'm tired trying to find a job and um, I have Lyme disease and I have depression and anxiety and some OCD. Um, I haven't been working for a while now um, since July of 2012. Um, I started getting panic attacks. I did have depression and anxiety before July, but um, I was working these 12 hour shifts. I have a three and a half year old and um, I'm living low income and all this other crap. But my depressions got really, 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 really bad and panic attack where I usually got maybe like three a year and um, I got one in July and then I just recently got three in just two weeks. I'm going to a therapist and all this other stuff. Um, I am like freaking out like what the hell is wrong with me? I think I borderline personality disorder. <sighs> Can't you tell I'm tired? I woke up really early this morning. But anyways, um, I think I have borderline personality disorder. Uh, I have a lot of the traits and I'm going to talk to my therapist today and see if they can uh, identify it more. I told them that I think I have it and, uh, and they just like didn't discuss it after that. I want to know like if there's anybody that can like help me like in the Minnesota area like get diagnosed or like help me with like uh, what kind of stuff that you're supposed to do to like make it not as bad. I can never ever like get up. Oh my makeup's really bad in my eye and you guys are going to see all this because uh, I don't know how to edit my videos <laughs> but um. I don't know how to date people like I know how to go out with people but um, once I find out there's like one or two things like maybe not even bad but I think they're like totally bad and then I wouldn't want to go out with them ever again or like I don't like them that way and I just rather just be friends with them um, I like don't trust anybody I don't even trust my own mom it's kind of sad like I love my mom so much or whatever but the thing is um, how the hell do I like put some of these thoughts or whatever in the back of my mind and um, just erase them not just like remember all the bad stuff and <laughs> forget all of the good stuff like <coughs> 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 I'm set still too. Um, let's see. Because of my son's dad, I went out with him. He's the longest I ever went out with. Three and a half years, I believe. And he cheated on me like four times when I was on bed rest. And so like every guy after him, like I think, well, yeah, they're going to cheat on me. But there's like... Uh, probably no signs of them thinking like they're gonna cheat on me but like if they don't call me or text me or they don't come see me often then I'll be like um what are you doing are you with another girl are you hanging out with them or what um like I did do the um uh, the multiple sex partners and drugs and all that stuff too and uh now i look on borderline personality disorder too where um you can go into phases where you're doing multiple drugs or sex or whatever and then go away into the opposite of not even having sex or doing drugs or anything and i started doing drugs once I found out I had my son, but uh, the sex part or whatever, or 
why in today like a lot of people all at once or whatever like it's still in my mind and uh i did the multiple people whatever i'm really not gonna love it but uh now i don't want i want a relationship but the thing is uh i don't want no sex involved i want to go with somebody i want to spend time with them i want to do everything i am very very not uh not emotionally or whatever like uh oh my god i love you can i hold your hand all the time whatever you know like that physical touching thing um i don't know how to do that um my parents my mom she was always there for me and everything um i think maybe it's because my dad was an alcoholic and he was never there so i'm looking for a father figure but that I'm looking for a boyfriend to be my boyfriend and husband forever and uh, to have kids with and to be a, my son Tristan's friend not a father but a friend like at this moment you know like if I was married or whatever and Tristan's still young and stuff like that maybe maybe Tristan might like him with him. I don't know but I'm not just trying to push like all these other girls oh my god I need to find a dad for my kid <laughs> But um, this is kind of weird because like my kid's not here, so <laughs> maybe that's why I'm talking and I'm okay with it. And uh, I don't know. Um, I gotta go to my therapy pretty soon. I just felt like maybe I should tell you guys what's up. Um, just rambling on and on and on and on, like I said, but um. Went to my therapist and I needed to know what's wrong with me. I need to know if I'm the only one that feels like this, um, or if there's multiple people that think that there's something wrong, but every doctor, everybody says, oh no, there's nothing wrong with you. You're very smart. You are very intelligent and you think and you, and I hear you, what you talk about and you're very smart and intelligent. Well, Maybe I am, but I don't know how to use my own advice. And it kind of pisses me off. I just dyed my hair because I think that I'm a different person. Like, literally not like uh, schizophrenia, but but um, I'm a different. I'm a different Tiffany. I'm starting off new. I do that all the time. Like, I had blonde hair, brown hair, burgundy color. This is my first time, I think, of having red. But orange, green, whatever, like when I was like a teenager, I was like a punk addict or whatever, but uh, I'm nothing like that now. I'm a mom and I like to just look different. I like to look hot and I look like, like to look like a scrub too, like all in one. So like if you guys want to talk to me more or uh, let me know uh, that you guys are in this kind of area in your life too, let me know so that I know I'm not the only one. Okay, bye. If I don't want to shut it off.